Hello, my name is Roy Henry. This is my instructional tutorial video number five. It is over education.com. <clears throat> um, I selected this particular resource because of all the different areas that it covers for my children and for students. <clears throat> my particular purpose behind this was uh, for as a teacher, if I was teaching in a, a classroom, um, and for lower level classes, um, example kindergarten through fourth grade or fifth grade, it give me different resources, different ideas, and different uh, workshops that I could be doing with the students um, to help advance their education. My intended audience would be uh, students, uh, mainly the lower uh, level students, uh, maybe preschool through fifth grade. Uh, my two ISTE standards I think it would cover would be <coughs> for ISTE standard for teachers number one for facilitating and inspire student learning and creativity. Um, I'll go over that here in just a minute with the different worksheets that you can do in the different workbooks and activities. Um, and then also <coughs> for helping with promote and model digital citizenship and responsibility. <coughs> Again, I'll go over that one as I'm covering the workbooks and activities area. And with this education.com, it goes over first. We'll look here just it has different games that you can have for uh, preschool games, kindergarten, first grade. You can also break it down into math, reading, interactive stories, and educational songs. Also, has different worksheets that you can do. We'll go ahead and check out a couple different worksheets. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and go for preschool since that's what my son is in right now. Also, go with uh, the letter U. I'm not going to download it. Uh, we'll just look at this picture over here to the left. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the different worksheet, you could print it out or you can use it online even. It has a, uh, for tracing the alphabet, it has, <coughs> excuse me, it has different things that you can do on here. Um, if you have a tablet and a stylus, you can do it online or if you would prefer to print it out, you can print it out. Um, you can go ahead and trace the different letters. Um, and help your students or your children, if you're working with your children for the teacher, um, actually learn how to make those letters correctly. We'll go take a different look at a couple different workbooks. Uh, <clears throat> we'll break this down into preschool. Some of them are free and some of them you do have to pay for. Let's see if we can't find a free one here. This would be the Beginning Sounds Picture Book. Again, this is something that's Okay, it looks like this one is one that you have to purchase. Um, but an example would be you can either color online or you can print it off and you can have them color uh, the pages. <clears throat> and this one goes over the beginning sounds. Um, it's a picture book. It has different activities that you can do, also different articles that cover it. Um, for example, online gaming for kids, teaming up to play it safe, seven things no one told you about parenting, how much do teachers hate common core. <clears throat> it also has different science fair uh, ideas. We'll go ahead and see if we can't find a free one for kindergarten for science fair. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and do dinosaur tracks. How are fossilized imprints formed? <clears throat> see if this one isn't free. So now as you can download the project, um, it looks like how did dinosaur footprints get fossilized? Um, that would be the problem, and then you would uh, go ahead and explore that. And how did dinosaurs leave their footprints behind so many years ago? They stomp, clomp, and squish your way to learn how to make fossils and create your very own fossil imprints. Also tells you the materials that you'd need, and also the procedure and the results and why that happened. I think that this again would be a good tool for parents or for teachers. Um, or for teachers that are sending homework home for the students. And, and then this, with this website, both the teachers could access it and the parents could access it, and they could, they could utilize it in working together to help uh, educate the students as a whole. I really like the, the worksheets and the workbooks, how you can print them off and use them online both um, for the main fact that as a student is at the classroom, he may be able to use a computer and stuff, but as they go home, they may not have the funds. The parents may not have the funds for a computer or for something for the students to, or their children to work on. So by them printing it off, they can take it home and still continue with that experience that they were having online. Then go back and put it back into the online version. 
Again, this is education.com, and my name is Roy Henry, and this is my instructional tutorial video number five. Thank you.